Welcome back to Barbara and Haskell's Kitchen. My name is Amanda and today we are tackling school lunches. We have done a video on this before, which I will link in the comments below this. You can see some other great recipe ideas for lunches. So I asked some friends on Facebook last week what they pack their kids for lunches and I got a lot of similar answers. Fruits and veggies as sides, some snacks, uh, usually some sort of starch, whether that be a bagel or typically a sandwich. So today what we're gonna make, hopefully we'll check some boxes for you and the kids. It is a puff pastry pinwheel that you heat up in the oven. It tastes really good warm, but it also tastes really good uh, cold or at room temperature. Uh, one of the things I like about it is you can make it ahead. So on Sundays, you could make a whole bunch of these in advance and pack them for the kids. It's super easy to make, which is really great has hardly any cleanup, which I love even more because I hate doing dishes. Uh, the kids will love it because it tastes really great. You can put anything you want in it that your kids enjoy. This one we are going to be making with ham, cheddar, and mustard, but I'll be doing a second one that'll be more pizza style, and it will have some pizza sauce and pepperoni and different toppings to go with that. So, Let's see how it's done. All right, so to start this recipe, we have let the puff pastry sit out for two hours at room temperature to thaw. Um, and then we've covered this cutting board with a little bit of saran because we're gonna roll this up like a pinwheel. And then we're gonna put it in the fridge for 20 minutes once it's done so that it's easier to cut. And we're, uh, we're gonna want it in the saran. Just so you know, it did take two pieces of saran to be wide enough to fit the puff pastry on it. So now that we're out like this, as you can see, this puff pastry had a bit of an accident somewhere along the lines and it's a little bit uh, cut there. So I'm just gonna do a light roll and roll out some of the, the cut there and just roll it out so that all of the little bumps and stuff are out of it as well. Perfect, so that looks pretty good the way it is. And what we're gonna do next is we're gonna put whatever condiment we want on. I'm gonna use mustard, I love mustard. And we're just gonna spread it about an inch away or half an inch away from all of the sides, probably half an inch will, will do the trick. So once you have a nice generous coating of mustard or whatever condiment it is that you are going to use, I'm now just gonna layer some pieces of ham. But that is done. I have a whole about a cup of shredded cheese here. And I'm just gonna try to spread this nice and evenly over top. All right, so now comes the hard part. We are going to roll the dough to roll it as evenly as you can, that's ideal. Try to 
make sure that this side is attached to the other side. And now we're just gonna roll it up nice and tight into our saran, close off both ends. And now we're just gonna stick this into the fridge for 20 minutes before we cut it. You're gonna need a serrated knife, kind of like a bread knife will do, to cut this into half inch pieces. Um, and while that's happening, I'm gonna preheat the oven to 300. All right, so the next uh, puff pastry pinwheel that we're gonna make is a pizza style pinwheel. And I just thought I'd show you, this is the puff pastry that I purchased, but you can get any one you like and you find them in the freezer aisle at any of the major grocery stores. So again, we have the saran wrap down. Um, I've used two pieces of saran and attached them together. So I'm just gonna flip open my puff pastry. This one again has some little cuts in it. Not a big deal if that's how yours looks when you roll it out. We're gonna use a rolling pin and just fix that. It's super easy. So once you get it out of the package, you're just gonna flip it out and peel it off. I'm just gonna take a rolling pin. I'm just gonna roll it out and the pastry should come back together fairly well. So for me, for my kind of pizza, I'm just gonna use a pre-made pizza sauce that you can get at any store, but this one we got at the superstore. And I'm going to put a generous amount of pizza sauce all over this, about a half an inch to an inch from the edges. Next, we're gonna add our meat topping, and that can be any kind of meat that you want. I picked more of Italian style meats, but pepperoni would be great and probably preferable for most kids. And you can just put as much or as little as you want in. Our next topping is going to be cheese. I just bought some pizza cheese, but again, whatever you normally put on your pizza would be fantastic here. All right, the next step and the final step in this uh, part of the recipe is to roll it up and you're gonna do it um, lengthwise. So whatever the longest side is, that's the side that you're going to want to roll because then you're going to get more pinwheels out of your pastry. So while this is cooling in the fridge for 20 minutes, we are going to preheat the oven to 375 degrees, and I will come back and show you how to cut these. You should get probably about uh, 12 pieces out of this or more. All right, so our first pinwheel was in the fridge for 20 minutes, and we're just gonna unravel it. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you have a serrated knife for this. And I'm just gonna cut the ends off to start so that they're even. So 
you're gonna cut these about a half inch thick um, and then place them about an inch apart on a pan with some parchment paper. purposes and they were fantastic uh, highly recommend I would definitely eat these in my lunch um, so next we are going to cut into the pizza one that we've made um, and everything's gonna be exactly the same we're preheating the oven to 375 this has been in the fridge for 20 minutes and uh, let's open this up And it looks like we're gonna get about 16 of these, which is fantastic. And each uh, puff pastry pack did come with two. So you could have 32 of these ready to go for the whole family for lunches for the week. All right, so the pizza ones came out of the oven. They're also fantastic. We taste tested those as well. Um, and they would definitely satisfy any pizza craving that you were having. So thank you so much for joining us on Barbara and Haskell's Kitchen. Our next edition will be Thanksgiving, which seems crazy because I can't believe Thanksgiving is coming up in a few weeks. So thanks again for joining us on Barbara and Haskell's Kitchen, and we will see you soon.